Who are you? Michelangelo. Okay, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. How are you? I've been out with black women or approached a black women, and before they even knew me, they said, how many kids you got? How many baby mamas you got? Dating outside my race, I haven't had no issues like that at all. Okay, and you are? I'm Coro. 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 I've been practicing absence for three years, three years with no sex. I'm looking for someone that can respect my views on this, someone that can love me for me. And you are? Bo. Bo. Yeah, I don't date black women now because of past experiences. They like to place that strong personality on you, and, and sometimes you just kind of, just like, you know, stay in a woman's place. So do you have any idea why you're here? We, oh, share, we share some of the same Opinions. Opinions. About? Why are black women so angry? Was your mother angry? To a certain degree, yes. She, she had that anger inside of her, but she made sure that she didn't pass it on to me. I see how she handles that, and she, she gives off that vibe that I get from women here, but when it came to me and how she approached me and taught me about women, she said, don't deal with this. That's interesting, because as a black mother, yeah. My work was to help my son understand it so that he would know how to stand in it with a black woman. Why are you here? My situation's a little bit different because I traveled a lot when I was a kid, very talented, very gifted musically. So because of that, when I came back to my neighborhood when I was dealing with certain black women, you're different. You talk funny. You dress funny. The music you listen to is funny. I don't like being because I had flip-flops on or I had a turtleneck, I'm gay. The problem I'm having is just because you're more my culture and you're black, you don't get a pass. All the women in my family, I got a side of cousins that made me feel weird about that. How can anybody make you feel anything? You get to choose how you feel. You don't know that when you're kids, it's a psychological but imprint. You, what does that have to do with today? Now, with a black woman, uh -huh. I have this in my mind before I even talk to you, she's gonna think I'm weird. And that bothered me a lot. When I went to junior high school, I got bussed from Ocean Hill, Brownsville to Flatbush, and they spit on me and called me a nigga. They spit on me. And I was, I was 13. And these were adults, not the children. So my point is this, that don't have nothing to do with who I am today. What, what, what is your experience? A lot of black women, they don't want to talk to me. Some of them because? don't want to talk to me. Some of them want to talk to me because, number one, I'm a God-fearing man. Um, I don't believe, like right now, I'm practicing abstinence. I'm not having any sex whatsoever. Why you ain't in the church? <laughs> I am in the church. I'm, I'm going to talk about the church women. If you don't have a collar, they don't want to talk to you. I'm, I'm straight up. But does if you don't it, have a collar, they do don't want to talk to you. Do you know what the collar represents, though? It's, I guess it's purity or, you know, uh, leadership or, I don't know, a divine. How about power? How about power? That's what it represents. Okay. But let me tell you why I've called you here today. I've invited you here because my intention is to dismantle the myth of the angry black woman. I believe it's a myth. Huh. As a black woman, yeah. Yeah. I believe it's a myth. I invited you here for a mixer tonight just huh. to be with some women. All kinds of women, all ages. Of women. <laughs> we all have a story, we all have an experience, and we all get to choose. Tonight, you get to choose how you're going to experience these women. But I do also want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being a demonstration, because I know there are hundreds of thousands of black men, all ages, who've had these experiences. And I believe, and it's my intention, for us to heal. Hello, my beloveds. Thank you so much for stopping by our own YouTube channel. I hope the clip you just watched helped you in some way in your own life. Make sure to click the subscribe button so that you never miss out on our most memorable lessons and moments. Take care of yourself. And in the meantime, be blessed.